Hello, everybody. We will look at some common major sounding upper structure chords. Okay, so in the last videos, we pretty much explored all the possibilities of upper structure triads and also seventh chords. So there should be six for each type, six major, six triads, and six uh, upper structure seventh chords. Okay, so luckily, some of these are more common or more more used often, used more often than the others, and we will take a look at the these. So this first one is playing E minor or E minor 7, a pagio or chord. So basically a pagio means a uh, broken chord, okay, so we play them separately. Um, say E minor 7. Um, so this is a chord, a pagio would be somewhere like that. So you separate them and start playing them together. Uh, the first one is playing an E minor or E minor 7, a pagio over C major, 7 shell. It can be just a C bass, okay? A C bass note. That's fine. So again, something like this. And uh, this one's really common when you are trying to produce a, a C major seventh sound. Really common, or a uh, C major ninth. So E minor seven. This one's really common, worth memorizing, and will appear in the test at the end of the chapter. Okay. So these are these three are the ones that I'm going to test you. Okay. So, um, again, if I write out the uh, chord tones, E, G, B, D, over C, okay, or C shell, um, so C major 7 shell, or just a C bass, okay, so that's the first one. Second one, uh, we go into Lydian sound, okay, already, so it's G major 7 arpeggio, or a chord over a uh, C major 7 shell, or just again C bass note. So that's a G B D F sharp on C, okay. And uh, forgot to mention the formula here. So for the E minor arpeggio, remember all you have to do is to uh, play start on the third of the uh, of uh, of the chord, so C, and then play a minor tri or a minor seven chord. So the formula is start from the third of the major chord, play minor or minor seven chord, okay. But if you walk through the uh, previous videos, you should have no problem just calling, recalling the uh, constituent tones, okay? This one, start on the fifth of the chord, play major seven chord, okay? So C, you go up a fifth, so the fifth chord is G, and then you play major seven, and that would yield a C Lydian sound, okay? And Lydian is really still a major sound, it's a variation of the major sound, okay? And finally, you play D major triad over C bass, so D F sharp, um, A over C. This one is really common as well, so you go to the second degree of C, D, and then play a major triad. So that would yield a C Lydian sound as well, with a uh, 13 there, okay? So that's C major 13 sharp 11, okay? Again, it's incomplete because you don't have a third there, but uh, if you take a quick look, um, that would sound something like that. Okay, so again, this is the inversion that I like because uh, you have the th sharp 11 on top. Okay, and uh, second example, G major 7, so... Okay, something very similar here. And then the first example, sorry. I'll just try it. So again, the uh, inversions thing, when you play triads, the inversions are actually much more useful it's because you're really thinking about a uh, a smaller chord structure, which is triad. And uh, the inversions of triads are much more useful than, the uh, than say, the uh, inversions of the seven chords. Because when you go to seven chord territory, they get messy when you do inversions. You can do them. Of course, um, but personally, I uh, I find that uh, the inversions of the triads are much more useful because the whole point of playing upper structure is to simplify things. We want to yield a complicated sound by doing simple things. So the inversions of triads are much more useful. Okay, cool. So these are three common major sounding upper structure chords. Okay, memorize them. You'll be tested on on these. Okay, so. Hopefully everything makes sense. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the uh, next video, okay?